hello everyone so welcome back to our channels in this video I want of you to understand about countable and uncountable right so now this is very important video that you should learn something from it and especially to take the main idea of this video that is talk about countable versus uncountable now don't wait anymore we go together the first is a uh, countable noun and then we move to the question what is countable noun countable nouns are for the thing we can count using number right uh, they have already known one two three four four five until they yeah, at the end so that is called number they have a singular and plural form so it means they can form they can form a plural and the singular noun the singular noun the singular form can use a determiner uh, or an if you want to ask about the quantity of a uh, countable you can ask how many combined with the plural countable noun so i would like to explain this when you see a word when you see a word that words that can that can be both can be both uh, plural and singular and especially that is that can use that singular noun we can use with determiner uh, or on right Another thing is if you want to ask about quantity, quantity you say uh, uh, there is three, there is four, that is uh, quantity. So normally we use with how many, how many, how many, combined with the plural noun. So now we move to the yeah, how much and how many we will uh, discuss later on, and we move to. You move to the example. This is uh, like we said just now. Uh, countable noun. We can create or we can form uh, singulars and plural. Now let's go. Mm, one dog. Yeah, two dogs. One horse. Two horses. One man. Go to two men. One idea. Two ideas one shop yeah go to two shops so that is mean that this is dark and this is dogs so we can notice that this is also can yeah this this word can create a plural form can create a plural form it mean that uh, countable noun it can be both singular and plural so that mean like this one dog, two dogs, one house, two houses, one man, two men, one idea, two ideas, one shop, two shop. So this is the singular. Okay, move to next. Let me see the example. She has three dogs. I own a house. I would like to book please I would like to book please how many friends do you have okay let me move to the next is uncountable uncountable mean that for the thing we cannot count with a number like I, I said just now so this is we cannot count like one one two or three at all so they they can be the name abstract to idea abstract to idea it mean we cannot see it it just it just uh, the words in our in our I mean in our in our in our mind but we cannot see um, quality or physical object that are too small to yeah to at most at most at most half to be counted like liquids, yeah, liquids, powder, gas, 
etc. Uncountable noun are uh, used with a singular verb. They usually do not have the plural form. So, in short, in this, they have the quality, yeah, physical object too small uh, to add most half to be counted. So they cannot count at all. So please note with this. This is the very important point that you need to know. Yeah, abstract two idea, quality, physical object, too small, too small, or too at most half counted. Let's see example together to be clear. T, yeah, that is the liquid. You cannot count like one T, two T. Sugar, water, air, rice. We can start with too small, right? Like here, it's too small. It's too small. We cannot count all. Knowledge. This is the abstract two idea. The idea that you cannot see. So, and how about knowledge? Uh, you cannot see it, alright. Beauty. Yeah, you cannot count one beauty, two beauty. Angle. This is also abstract. Abstract idea. Fear. Love. Money. Research. Safety. Evident. So, these are all the singular, the singular noun that we cannot that we cannot put uh, with the number that we cannot use with the number right so yeah that's all for the video today just note two point what is countable and uncountable and then we will have uh, some exercise thank you bye bye